no-fault divorce laws have become the subject of recent political debates. In our legal lens, Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal asked Brown and Crouppen attorney Andrea McNary to break down the debate. Andrea, I guess to start, what exactly is a, a no-fault divorce? So way back uh, in the day to get a divorce, uh, you would have to prove misconduct like adultery or domestic violence. Uh, then most systems switch to what's called uh, no-fault divorce. And basically what that means is there's the standard instead of somebody's at fault or there's misconduct, it's that there's no reasonable likelihood that the marriage can be preserved and therefore the marriage is irretrievably broken. So no one person has to be at fault for any misconduct. And I know recently we've heard some talk uh, from, from some folks who, who want to, I guess, eliminate uh, no-fault divorce. What's, what's the, the reasoning behind uh, what they're proposing? So critics say that one, it makes it too easy to get a divorce. Um, and basically leads to couples getting divorced instead of trying to work out. The second thing they cite is because divorces are easier to get in, in theory, what they're arguing is that it also impacts more children. And, and most of these uh, claims are, are basically moral and religious um, undertones to it and, and have moral and religious objections is another uh, reason they cite to eliminate no-fault divorce. And some of the reasons uh, people are giving for, for wanting to uh, keep that option available? Well, one, it used to be this way. Um, so before uh, Missouri implemented no-fault divorce, um, there was fault divorce and they changed the system because one, it was faster and less expensive um, than trying to prove fault in a divorce and um, the expense of divorces led to a disproportionate amount of people uh, with lower incomes having to stay married. Um, two, it protects privacy. By not requiring a, a, a spouse to prove fault and misconduct, um, you know, you don't have to expose your dirty secrets in a public forum and in public court filings to be able to get a divorce. And then finally, um, one of the biggest uh, reasons people cite for the reason of no fault divorce is domestic abuse and, and it reduces conflict. So, um, you know, the more fault you have to prove to somebody, the more that leads to contention and no fault divorce actually um, has led to more amicable separations is what people would argue. It is a topic a lot of people have been talking about. Andrea McNary with Brown and Crouppen appreciate you breaking down the uh, legal aspects of it for us today. You're very welcome. Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News. And you can catch the legal lens on Fox 2 every Wednesday at 6 p.m.